congratulations on season two. You guys, this season was absolutely amazing. So, Kosi, I'll start with you. I know when a show first comes out, you don't really hear the news of when there will be a new season. So do you remember where you were when you got the news that there will be a season two? Yes, I remember. They actually called us onto set um, to film something <clears throat> else. But then they actually surprised us. No sequel, uh, the director surprised us and told us that season two is coming out. So, yeah, that was a really emotional moment and it was really exciting. Um, and yeah, I was just so grateful. Yes. Okay. Cindy, uh, Zama, I'm so happy we got to see a lot more of her and she goes through a lot of interesting things this season, but she, I feel like is the ultimate ride or die BFF. So when you were reading the script for season two, was there anything that surprised you about Zama or that things would be happening this season for her? Um, Yes, there are quite a few things because I felt like season one, Zama was really someone who just went for anything or everything that just makes her happy. It doesn't matter how it looks to the next person. But this time around, you know, she makes decisions that she feels like are good for her. And when she says she's actually good with something, she's good with it and she'll stick to her decision. So that's one thing that I'm like, you know, girl, you go. I know I'm learning something, a thing or two from you. Cause yeah, as it, it, it for, for Zama, I honestly felt like that was something different and something that I never expected. Absolutely loved it. I love Zama's outfit choices, her hair. I was like, yes, Zama. <laughs> <laughs> Leroy, you were new this season. So for something that's already been adjusted and something that's already been in place, were you nervous coming into something new? And what was it like for you working with all of um, your castmates? So absolutely. I was absolutely nervous. I mean, who wouldn't be, right? Literally overnight, I was, I found myself exactly where I'd always wanted to be, but never imagined myself to be, right? So that was quite nerve-wracking. But, you know, I prayed a lot and I prayed to God to just calm me and to calm my nerves and just so I can be centered. And coming onto the scene and meeting everyone, the cast members, you know, they were very welcoming and they welcomed me with open arms and I felt formed some really good friendships with everyone and that helped me you know uh, to just settle in yes you guys you did such an amazing job this season was juicy season one was two but I feel like this season I was like okay season two Kosi <laughs> for you your character she goes through a lot because we you know we leave at the end of season one and she finds out some crazy news and without like spoiling anything for season two there's a lot happening for her. So was there anything that you had to do to prepare for this season, maybe different from what you did for season one? Right. Um, well, things were different for me this time around because obviously I had the experience of season one. You know, the first time when I was on set for season one, I was still, you know, finding my bearings and um, I still kind of am. Uh, however, just... I think having spent more time with Fihile, I have a better understanding of her. I can, you know, sort of tap into her easier. Um, and so, yeah, when it came to portraying all of those hectic moments that she goes through, it was a lot easier because I don't know how to describe it, but I just have this way of just being like, think like Fihile and then like a scene happens and I'm like, this is happening to me, you know, um, I'm still figuring it out, but yeah. Yes. Well, you did an amazing job. Uh, Cindy, you. for you this season, I think we delve a little bit more into trafficking. And I think the, the conversation gets a little bit more serious where season one, it highlighted it because of what was happening with the kidnapping or selling. So for this season, I feel like the highlight was more on trafficking and more educational. So is that something that you always knew about? Was that something new that you heard about when you were reading this script for season two? Um, uh, to be honest, it was something new for me. Um, it was something new. So that's the thing with 
blood and water as a whole i feel like season one we were really we learned a lot season two we also like learned a lot and in a very interesting way you know telling stories but also educating people so for me it was educational for myself and also to an extent where you know you sometimes you just have to do some research in order for you to portray the portray a specific something specific a certain way so that other people can also learn from you portraying whatever it is so with me the script did a lot of teaching with regards to human trafficking and certain things that actually happen in this world so yeah it was it was learning yeah I definitely learned season one and season two I'm like this is such a great show because it's such a great learning experience especially for people who don't know about the topic at hand so not only is the season like juicy and entertaining, but you do get an educational point of view. So that's what I really loved about it. Uh, Leroy, for you, so there's so many different characters and I feel like I love them all and I love something about them all. And because you're new this season, if you can switch roles with anyone, which character would you take on? Oh, <laughs> um, that's interesting. I would say... I would say Wade Daniels. I would say Wade Daniels. That's a good one. And why? I think because, man, I just don't like some of his decision making, you know? I really don't. I'm just like, you know what? You got to make better decisions. You got to make decisions for you, man. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like, yeah, <laughs> I, would, <laughs> I would definitely be like, no, I am not going with you on this journey, Puleng. Like, no. That part. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, why is it so hard to say no? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yes. Um, Sorry. No, it's okay. Go ahead, Cindy. Because he's in love. It's difficult to say no to someone that you really like. Mm-hmm. You're trying to impress. So let me ask you three this. So if you guys are in Wade's shoes and someone you love is like, yo, I need you to do all these sketchy things with me ride with me here, ride or die. Like, Cindy, I know you might, because Zama's a ride or die anyway. <laughs> I mean, would Zama definitely <laughs> would. <laughs> Zama would be down. She was down. But would you guys take on the Wade role and be like, okay, where you're maybe, you know, there's new relationships, there's new friendships, and some things are tested. So would you put yourself in Wade's shoes and do what he did for love? Hmm. There's a limit, man. Yeah. yeah it's tough it's tough because you know you love someone and you're really good friends with them you want to help them but it's like when's the line when do you stop true you know but i i appreciate it because it it gave it gave a lot of drama so i thought it was really good uh kosi for you were you shocked at how popular the show became and how kind of obsessive the fans became because I remember last year watching season one and I was like what is this show this is amazing and I love seeing the love on social media so were you surprised at that definitely um I think everyone uh who's part of the show was surprised that blood and water would be as big of a success as it was obviously we all hoped for the best (laughs) um but yeah it was amazing I was just overwhelmed with gratitude at how many people were actually touched by the story because you know it does as much as it's like this cool you know show it does like you said it's very educational and um a lot of people found themselves in the characters which is amazing because you just want to create stories that people will see themselves in right so yeah I was pleasantly surprised (laughs) Yes, it was it was a great reaction. I love seeing it. I love seeing my friends' reaction. Like we we became pretty obsessive. So this is such a great show. I absolutely love it. Um, Cindy, Cozy kind of just brought up something that I was gonna bring up where you guys kind of saw yourselves in your characters or you felt something you probably felt connected within your character. So what are like three favorite things about Zama that you love about her? Huh. If She's there are a- three. <laughs> she's a go-getter she's a go-getter she's a people's person she 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 loves being around good energy and good vibes um huh, what else 
I feel like she's the life. She's, of got, the party. she's got a big heart. She's got a big heart. She's got a big heart, and she's a very good friend. I know that's four when you ask for three, but she she's got a big heart, and she's a really really good friend. No, I'll take four. I think she's great. She didn't hesitate. I know Wade. There was a little bit of hesitation, but she was like, "Sure, what are we doing? I'm here." Yeah, so that's why I think everyone can love Zama. Um, Leroy, for you, do you have any favorite onset memories of yours? Yes, that is an interesting question. I definitely do. I think, you know, uh, the one scene that we shot um, in, the one scene that we shot where Sam was teaching Fikile how to surf, that was really fun because, you know, firstly because there were no directions on how to shoot it. So we literally just had a good vibe and the director was just like, go out there and just give me something, <laughs> you know? And in the end, I think we did, but also because it was really cold. And so the acting was real in that moment because I was freezing. We were both freezing to death, but we had to act like, you know, the water was very warm and nice. And that made the whole experience really fun. Well, you two did a great job because I was convinced. That's why you guys are great <laughs> actors. Thank you. <laughs> You're Thanks. very welcome. Kosi, for you, what do you hope the audience can take away from season two? Right. I think Blood and Water season two has a lot more to offer this time around. There's new characters. Um, the drama only is amplified. Everything that happened in season one times 10 or 100. Um and, you know, fans can look forward to getting to know their faves a lot better, um, seeing a lot of character developments and, like, different story arcs, you know, for different characters. And, yeah, same old fun vibes. The party never stops, you know. And ultimately, the truth. What is the truth? Yes, I am super yeah. excited. It was such a great season, you guys. And you three did an amazing job. So I'm Thank so you. happy that I got the chance to talk with you guys. Thank you so much. Where is the buzz? Oh, yeah. Where is the buzz? You said we're my, my. Where is the buzz? <laughs>